The Void Sword, probably one of the most random weapons in the game that's just, well, random. I mean, it has a staple in the early game, and it is a very cheap weapon that you can get for cheap. Well, there is another use for it. Guess what it is? You can dungeonize it. Yes, you can. And how is it also useful? The equipment is very cheap. Each piece grants 20 strength on the Void Sword, and well, it's good in dungeons. Because it's dungeonizable, the sword is dungeonizable, so therefore, you get more strength in dungeons and very cheap equipment for a very early game. So, let's hop into an M1 and M2, M5, and that's, let's see how well it does. I mean, for a weapon that's kind of mediocre, it did pretty well in comparison to the other weapons I tested in M5 and Master 1. I'm surprised it did decent, although one disclaimer is that you don't want to be, I mean, there's certain equipment that will give more strength than this, but for a cheap weapon, this will get you at least up to a livid dagger. That way you can use, well, a better sword instead of just, well, uh... Just well, uh, just a void sword, because it has this. The liver dagger has 210 strength, 210 base damage, right? Liver dagger has 210 damage and a bunch of other stats. A little bit more expensive, but for 200k, put this, put a little bit of effort on it and use it as early game. It, it's fantastic, and the equipment is extremely cheap. You just literally just pick it off on your tournament if you follow the quest line in the end. So I highly recommend picking this. Avoid, I recommend dungeonizing the Void Sword. It's literally cheap. The, mo the most expensive thing on it is to just apply cost the in the hot potato books. I mean, the essence is kind of cheap as well, but it's a really cheap weapon. Like, for and it's also a catacomb state, so you can get that really quickly if you know what you're doing. So and yeah, this will carry up to floor five, and honestly, great weapon. I was looking through the dungeon essence, looking for something to uh, go over for a video, and this is one of the things that, oh, that's strange, you can dungeonize this. But it's like, oh wait, that makes sense because of the dragon shortbow. Nobody really picked up on the void sword because everybody likes shooting arrows. <laughs> so, yeah, I really recommend picking this up for early game and dungeonize it, and put a little bit of effort into it, that way you are doing damage. Because Burrs is really overpowered for early game. That's one of the things why you should really pick this up. So, yeah. I do recommend it. It'll carry you up to floor 5. After floor 5, get a Livid Dagger. I don't care. <laughs> maybe it does more damage, maybe it does less damage. All you need to know is that it is a good weapon. It's 200k. So, yeah. Anyways, like, sub, uh, ring the bell. Join my Discord in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.